crosswalk is in place outside of a local high school. It looks like this. Maybe something that you've never seen before as far as the signals go. The city of Colorado Springs says it's part of a continuing effort to improve safety after a student was killed while crossing near Doherty High in D11 earlier this year. And as 11 News anchor Grace Kramer explains, the city also studied the area near Cheyenne Mountain High School. When the kids were crossing the street, there was there was so much traffic and I was really surprised that there was not an, an incident that a kid would be hit on a weekly basis. Karen Sandoval was not the only one concerned about students crossing the street in this Cheyenne Mountain neighborhood. The city of Colorado Springs noticed too, and after a few months of planning, they installed this. It's known as a hawk. It stays dark um, until activated. And then once activated, it allows, it stops traffic and allows pedestrians to cross safely. Sandoval tells me she feels safer with the new crosswalk. Especially with all the kids, it's, it's necessary that they can cross the street on a, uh, uh, safely. According to city officials, this crosswalk cost about $40,000 to build, and it only took about a month. And we were able to keep costs down because we used uh, city crews to do all the above ground work. Frisbee tells me that there is still some confusion about the new system. If the light is flashing yellow, drivers need to slow down because a pedestrian has pressed the walk button. When it's solid red, drivers must stop completely so a pedestrian can cross. And if it's flashing red, stop first and make sure it's clear before proceeding with caution. The message to students is, you know, even though it's a protective crosswalk, uh, um, still be careful, be mindful of your surroundings. That's Grace Kramer reporting. City engineers will continue to monitor that crosswalk and then make adjustments if needed over the next month.